one of the longest living uh, groups on Earth, and along with five other um, groups of people that are known as the Blue Zones. They reveal that uh, they flourish on high plant diets, jovial culture, happy culture, and constant movement and exercise. So they have 40% fewer uh, hip fractures than Americans. And we have hip, a lot of times we die after a hip uh, fracture. It's, uh, it can be very dangerous. And they have 40% fewer. They have higher sex hormones like DHEA, testosterone, and estrogen. And they have lower cholesterol. And they have low homocysteine, which is a cardiac um, test. And their BMI is less than 23. 23 is slim. And, um, you know, they, they, uh, um, they found that even siblings of centenarians, of Okinawans, got 12 years more. So you should have been a, a sibling of <laughs> Okinawans. You get 12 years lot more, actually. So the Mayo Clinic declared that aging well could be greatly enhanced on a molecular level with high intensity interval training. So when you walk next, what they found is if I do three minutes fast walk, three minutes slower walk, three minutes fast walk, it really, really boosts your immune system. So, um, and you know, again, the fiber, they eat much more fiber than most Americans. And if I don't have enough fiber, guess what? I now invite something called subpopulation. These are the bad guys. These are the amoebas, the parasites, bacteria, E. coli. You know, I just invite them. And so you wonder how some people don't get that. And some people get everything. They go to hospital, they get uh, MRSA, they get C. diff, they, they are inviting everything because they didn't have a good base to begin with. So gut, gut microbes is very, very important. And the, the older we get, the more, the more important. And it's actually important for our cognitive function, for our thinking. So gerontologists report the paradox of old age is as remembering the good experience, good experience, easier and better than the bad. And this is a common trait of um, long-lived people. And 83% of people 80 to 90 years old are actually living at home. Um, a lot of, well, they are mainly women, but men are more likely to live in with somebody. But most of these centenarians are not in nursing homes. Denner Harman, uh, Nobel laureate, uh, discovery of free radical damage and the profound effect that antioxidants have in pre preventing premature aging and disease. And Nobel laureate uh, Warburg's discovery of oxygen levels and the um, creation of disease such as cancer provide the blueprint in creating long life. And uh, you know, amazing research, and of course, so much makes sense about this, and uh, we find it every day in our work that uh, this is exactly true. And aging represent the intersection of a gradually falling, failing system, which was formerly um, for uh, early growth and reproductive fitness. And cumulatively, this stunts growth, depending on the epigenetics uh, of suppressive causes such as radiation, erosive microbes, etc. So, this depends on homeostatic mechanisms, which are necessary to provide functions throughout life. You know, you have stem cells that constantly repair and um, maintain our, our, our tissue. And a lot of research are done about stem cell, and we work with stem cell institutes um, around us and uh, can see, you know, on top of everything that lifestyle has with the exercise, diet, 
psychological uh, sessions and, and really working on our attitude about what's happening. We can't change other people, and a lot of people want to change everybody around them, but that obviously doesn't work, but we can change ourselves and our attitude about life. So um, it's been uh, found that uh, you know, we keep our mental ability when we lead lives that are not only physically healthy, but also intellectually challenging. And we need to be socially engaged. So uh, marriages uh, has shown in many tests too, of course, that having a uh, pal or having a, a friend really close is very, very important for, um, for our well-being in many forms, in many forms, not only that we share life together, but, uh, and you know how monogamy, that it actually came about when, um, when there was lethal threat to mom and baby. And so we women would choose some strong male that could protect us, probably an alpha male. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it uh, it's seems like it's been working pretty good, the monogamy in our life, right? So, Hippocrates um, has been acutely uh, vigilant in, in applying five major uh, methods to prevent premature aging. And, uh, you know, most people live on substances. Most people, if you see what's sold in a supermarket, it's just substance, right? It's not food. So, living food is the natural diet uh, that we have been using for seven decades. And we also share this with all other nine million species who choose to eat uncooked food. And uh, an old saying is, maybe God did a mistake when he made the food. Maybe we have to process it. We have to make it better. Maybe it just didn't come out right when it comes to food. <laughs> Hyperbaric, we've used for over a century. Uh, we, no, not us, but it's been used for over a century. We've used it for probably at least 35 years in the conquest of wound healing, amazing, microbial remission, and uh, bone healing, and cancer, and MS. And I never forget a long time ago when um, the first hyperbaric uh, chamber came to one of the major hospitals in Sweden probably 40 years ago, and, you know, hyperbaric, of course, if you're, if you're a diver, you know it for um, the nitrogen, and you, you need, to, um, need to survive, you need to go in hyperbaric. Well, so much more. So this physician was talking in Sweden, and he said, oh my God, now not only can I work on, and it's a big one, probably eight people can sit, the one that we use is for one person, but um, he can use it for MS, he can use it for diabetes and, of course, ulcers and people who had bone fractures and wounds of all kinds. And a lot of times people have um, wounds from diabetes and um, it leads often to amputation and it could heal. And um, Parkinson and you name it. So it, it has such a big use and we're, we're, we're very happy to use that a lot. Then uh, we have supplements, and supplements are nutrients that supports your body. And of course, supplements needs to be from plant-based. You can't just go and pick up supplements in a store and think that somebody really has been looking after you and, and that it's 100% plant-based, and it's alive. I want to put a supplement on the microscope, which I did for 20 years, and I want to see it alive. So if it isn't, it is toxins, and your immune system will attack it as an invader. Your immune system has a one-track mind. It will attack anything that doesn't have frequency. You are electric, and all your food that you take in should respond to your frequency. Cooked food has none, right? So like Brian calls it the hope, living food has hormones, oxygen, phytonutrients, and enzymes, and if I not cook it, there's none of that. And if I now have a problem, let's say that I do have cancer, let's say that I have diabetes, I have arthritis, and I have psoriasis, or I have Lyme, I don't want to cook the food. I don't want to ask my immune system to attack 
what I just ingested, because it will. It has a one-track mind. It will attack, uh, it's called leukocytosis, and it will attack the food that came in. So what if I'm healthy now? Well, then at least 80% of my food should be raw. 20 could be plant-based, vegan, cooked food, which would, you know, it would be a balance if I'm healthy. But, you know, so what we see at the Institute, of course, is that we need to support people from all kinds of walks. Some are very healthy, and some have come after they tried everything else out there, and they come for our support. And so um, th that's very much what we, what we uh, have found. So IVs we also do, and of course IVs expedite recovery. And for the last five years, we use something called Nucom, and that's uh, to advance immune function too. And it's the cutting edge uh, technology, and it's been studied by Harvard and clinically proven to produce uh, deep states, like beta states, of calm. And so it activates interferon, activates your immunity, and um, it really helps people relax, really helps people sleep better.